cancelled. Sweezy. How can I convince my 13-year-old to leave her bedroom for more than just food? She's just in there all day with or without her phone. I don't even know what she does, but she's almost never leaves. Okay. So, I was 13 once. What? <laughs> I was like, I kind of get that, because you're like... You're at a weird point in life where you just kind of want to... Because you can't be with your friends all the time, and you're on your phone. Well, where phones when I was 13 uh, were flip flip phones. And even then, I didn't even get them. <laughs> I wish I could... I don't even remember all the details of the phone plan I had at 13. But uh, it was very limited. Uh, now kids are like, just have the full fucking internet access all the time. Um... Yeah, well, no, you have a 13-year-old. So, the part of me wants to go, like, you know, there's there's two parts of it. Because I know, I know kids, I'm friends with uh, the parents of kids your age. And they're like, you know, we want my, I want my kid to have my free, their freedom, you know. You know, you, you don't want to be like those asshole parents that we had. But I also don't want them getting molested. And uh, it's a very agreeable moment that we all were like... Yeah, that makes sense. You're like, I want my kid to have their freedom, but I don't want them getting molested. And that's 100%. I agree with probably what you want. You're probably a normal parent. Um, here's the thing, though. Um, I, I don't know how much you're tracking their internet use or anything like that. That's one thing. Because um, I'm always a big deal where it's like, uh, yeah, track their internet use, but... For God's sake, do not let them know that unless it's an actual emergency that, like, some bad shit is about to happen to them. You know, just watch it, and, you know, you're like, just want to make sure they're safe. I know they're going to do cringy-ass shit. That's one thing. Uh, but convince your 13-year-old to leave their bedroom? <sighs> I mean, here's the thing, bud. Um, that's a goddamn teenager. Like, yeah. You're gonna. Do you want to be a good friend of them, or they're gonna be like, "All right, come hang out with your family. We want you to hang out with us." And they're just gonna be in a bad time, and just be in a fucking bad mood and like resent you and shit like that. They're thirteen. They're gonna be like that. I was thirteen once, and uh, my parents hated me, and like, they legit hated me at thirteen. And you know what? Who cares? Who cares? They hate me now. So. uh... Not my dad, he's dead. But uh, my mom hates me. Uh, so, um, you know, he, um, the only thing I would say is maybe just let them be. But also just make sure they're safe at the same time. You know, don't let your child be molested. But also at the same time, let your child have drama with other girls or boys or whatever. I don't know what your gender is or whatever. It is what it is, you know. But... Like, we all get traumatized. You just don't want to be the bad traumatized, you know. Uh, by the church. That's the traumatized you don't want to be. Uh, by the church. Um, hey there, you just checked out a highlight from Cancel Sweezy. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you learned something and that you are now a smarter individual. Uh, just so you know, we have full episodes and other many, many highlights available now. Uh, click here for the next best thing that you can go check out as well. And uh, make sure you press that subscribe button and press that notification bell. That way you get updated anytime we make a new post or anytime that we make a new highlight or full episode. So thank you, honk if you love butt drugs, and stay awesome.